Hello everyone, Proxy War here, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're starting a brand new Let's Play for Total War Rome 2. And we're taking a look at the War of the Gods overhaul mod. Essentially, it's a total overhaul mod for Rome 2, which changes um, loads, of, it adds loads of units, buildings, icons, uh, mechanics, a population. There's tons and tons of stuff that gets added into this. So, uh, it's the first time I'll be playing this on the channel. I've played a little bit of the campaign, um, sort of like the last hour or so, just to make sure everything is working fine and everything. And uh, I don't really understand how the battle mechanics work exactly, uh, which we'll take a look at when we play. Uh, but as you can see, we are playing as the House of uh, Julii. Um, so for our, cap our campaign traits, we get plus 20% campaign map movement range, which is pretty massive. Uh, we also have um, enables recruitment of rank 10 politicians. We'll try and see what there is because I'm not sure exactly. And we've got minus 50% unit recruitment costs, which is pretty good. I don't know why it's red though. I think that that should be green, but whatever. Um, the start here is 272 BC. The initial challenge says it's easy, but I, I had a, a, um, a struggle playing this. Uh, but maybe I don't have the best units unlocked and stuff yet as well, so, you know, maybe that's why. But, essentially, what happened was, I got pulled into a war, um, and I think everyone saw dogpiling you, and I just couldn't uh, handle it like last time when I played the Ancient Empires campaign. It was very similar to that, so, you know, I can't be, can't be having that. So, we're going to try different tactics this time. Um, we will be playing on hard, because that's what the game is balanced for, I believe, anyway. Um, then we've got the Romanization, we've got plus 95 to Cultural Convergence, which is pretty good. And then we've got Barbarian Subduers, plus 45% melee attack during battles against Barbarian tribes. So that should help us conquer the sort of tribes to the north and everything, but we'll have to see, because that's what was really messing me up. Anyway, we will start the campaign now. You are at war with the Etruscan League. March north and capture their territories. This will allow you to consolidate Italia and ensure the safety of Rome. You must... I will skip that, because <laughs> I wanted to do the flyover, but all these other mob things were coming up. So essentially the first one was bad omens, so we shouldn't be declaring war. Um, the second one was the major, uh, guaranteed major factions mod, um, sort of saying the script is running. And now we are here with the people of uh, Rome 2 mod for Wars of the Gods slash Ancient Wars. So this is the population mod, so I'll read through it for everyone. So welcome to Wars of the Gods, Ancient Wars, People of Rome 2. This mod adds population and manpower mechanics to Rome 2. Before you get conquering, take a moment to read how these mechanics work and what ch new challenges lie ahead of you. Population in this mod is region based and represents the fighting age of male population divided into four classes. Nobles, warriors, commoners, foreigners, with culturally specific variants uh, to these given to each faction. All units require population to recruit, and the population class needed will be dependent on the units uh, that you re you recruit. Replenishment, uh, replenishment uh, you'll also consume population. If your, uh, if your region doesn't have enough population to refill the entire army, then it will not be able to replenish, and you'll need, more, uh, need to move um, to another region to recover your losses. Growth population will um, increase and decrease based on a number of factors, including building type, wall, settlement type, taxation, and more. The tooltip shows an approximate growth and not an exact growth. Immigration uh, will see people move to and from neighboring regions within your empire. These movements are largely based on a ratio of each population class, as well as a number of other factors. You can see how many people migrated to and from each region by hovering over the three population icon next to the regional population number. Economics, the size and ratio of the different populations classes will have an economic and public order impacts on your settlements. When you capture a settlement, all the people of that settlement will become foreigners and so your citizen population will have to grow from scratch. Mercenaries also require population to recruit. What type of population they require is dependent on the mercenaries' cultures and who owns the region and where they are recruited. Navies take all their population from both recruitment and replenishment uh, from these factions' capital. For more detailed information um, about the above, visit uh, that. So we got the lead team leads, Lithuanian 
Uh, yeah, team members. Dresden, very popular on the Total War community modding scene. Very, very popular indeed. Um, but yeah, cheers for that. Um, we have a objective issued. Um, sent to my bold undertaking. So control uh, the following nine settlements either by direct ownership through client states or military allies, Roma, Neapolis, um, Mount Vesuvius, uh, Aurelium, Labellium, blah blah blah. So there's quite, a, there's quite a lot of settlements that we need to capture. And there's the population there. We've got 163,000 in Italy in total by the looks of things. But if I click on Neapolis, it's, um, it's got its own population growth. So in Rome, we've got 163,283-ish amounts of troops. So that's the first thing we're going to want to do is pop down here, recruit up a vast amount of troops. Just max that out. All right. We are going to send the spy up to there. Uh, we're going to go for supply reform. So obviously all the unit icons are very different and everything's been overhauled. A lot of the technologies are the same. I mean, you get like physical conditioning. That was like in the first one. But the icons are better, um, I think. Let's take a look at technology. Uh, sorry, diplomacy and see what happened in the first time I tried playing this campaign. Essentially, I was, at war I was friends with Egypt. Um, the military allies, they went to war with uh, Syracuse. Not sorry, um, so the Seleucids, and they just dogpile, um, you know, there's loads of factions joined in because of all their Shatrapies. Then, yeah, things just went from bad to worse from there. Everyone thought, oh, you, uh, Rome's at war, tons of factions, let's just Be attack them. And, um, and that's what happened. Essentially, can't really be trusting them. Athens will trade with. Be welcome here and speak as you wish without fear of consequence or danger. Okay, we can't actually ask them for money because we can't set it. So that's fine. Uh, so we get rid of that. But we'll get trade with My Athens. RDI, I doubt they want foolish? that. My no. So we have war with Carthage and the uh, Etruscan lead to start off with. Greetings. That's it. Moderate chance they've accepted Epirus. Oh, I can good. agree to this. Hopefully. Although I do think the wine and Marsilia we are allies with. in the name of Hermes. Pergamon we allies with. I don't know why we are allies with all these people. Welcome. I throw open. So you would not sell much. In a so we're trading with them, and we're friendly with them. All right, but just to start things off, you're gonna chill down here. Doesn't seem like an army impacts public order. Interesting. And our public, our, um, our Latin culture is, uh, it's going up, but it's mainly going up, um, Hellenic culture is going up rather. So we're going to get you, we're going to recruit units straight away. We'll focus on building stuff in a bit, but I think we need to just sort of get all our troops up and running. If anything, Let's bring you guys up to here. Because we need to be quick with this. Thinking new strategies and everything involved here. So we're going to one one turn shot them, get rid of this, and steal some food, get some experience for our agent. Our fleet, we're going to pull back here to Neapolis. I uh, can't recruit anyone. Can't even hire mercenaries, it's a bit of a shame. Um, there's new edicts and things, which we'll take a look at once we get them sorted out. Um, but yeah, technology. Is that a crate? Can't really tell what that is, that icon. Go for the uh, supply reforms. I think we've done everything we can do. As I said, we allies with Egypt, Massalia, Pergamon, and Rhodes. Bit of a sporadical mix here. Um, hopefully, people just leave us alone at this time. That's in the turn. We've got 15,000 gold coming on in. Oh, here comes Carthage straight away with an attack, probably. Oh, that's actually quite annoying. But they might just be suiciding. They are. I don't. I'm not gonna fight this one. Just because I don't trust myself with the fleets and everything. So we will just uh, auto resolve that. We do, we take the win, so I'll, that's fine. I'll take that. Occupy, uh, release captives. Yeah. We want money and troops. That's all we care about right now. 
Epirus we at least trading with, even if it's for a turn or two. Trading with Syracuse. Alright, increasing rank. That is a scene from uh, the HBO Rome series. Very, very good. Highly recommend it. I've spoken about it loads of times on the channel. Especially when I am playing as Rome. Alright, so you guys. Ready for battle. Straight up there. Recruitment. Again, spam. Because we need to take these guys out because they are expanding their army. So we'll take them out. Uh, I guess we can auto resolve this. Go bad and stance here. Not too bad. Uh, we'll let's release captives. Oh, we haven't even looked at our character yet. So we got Lucius Julius Lebo as our faction leader. We cannot do anything just yet. Enslave, yeah, don't really fancy that. His parents are dead. Um, that's fine. You're gonna go straight onto that. Game can auto resolve this one. I'm thinking. Occupy. Yeah. Cool. Just because it's basic garrison, it's nothing too interesting to fight. Uh, we're going to go for the Vanguard Legion. So we got plus 5% combat map movement range and 5, uh, th sorry, 3% melee attacks skill for all units. And then, formidable fighters, that's always pretty good. Yeah, let's go for formidable fighters. And our general's upgraded. We're going to go straight to the skilled tactician route. Veteran Marines, a giant squid. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so let's go down for you. And then we're going to go for Relentless Attacker. Extra melee skill. Right, need to focus on that quite a lot. Um, can get a Field of Mars, which we've already got in Rome, so it's not really needed. Uh, but we don't have any other money. That's fine. We'll let things be for now. We do need to build some farms and things just to keep our growth rate nice and high. And the oh no, something's got an upgrade. Uh, it's our marines here. Uh, let's go for you, and then we'll go for night attack. Very handy in fleets, I think. And there's nothing really to look at in terms of our characters. We've got 32% um, of the uh, courts here, or the senators. So yeah, hopefully we try and avoid the civil war as best as we can. In the turn. And then I'm hoping with combined forces we can take on Arminium in one shot. Got some slums. I do apologize, I did have a quick phone call. Um, so we have a war declared, Massalia and Ligeria. Alright, fine. So we can hit them in this turn, but we need to merge. So we've got 18. Do you have any mercenaries? I'll take them. Are you out the settlement? Actually, you are. All right, fine. So we won't we won't attack that just yet. We'll move. Do you have any mercenaries? Just not playing around this campaign, just this time, because I really want to just actually set, um, start this and upload it to YouTube. Um, so we're going to go for the Manipulator Organization. I think, oh, should we go for Physical Conditioning? Yeah, let's go for Manipulator Organization. I just want to rush, like... What gives us our... Uh, these are the reforms down here. I just want to get those reforms. Oh, what are this? 
Wood in oil. I oh, yeah, definitely need that. All right. Anyway, let's not spend too much time. Get little darling. Um, so we want to move in with you as far as you can go. Attack with you. Yeah, the movement range is pretty good. All right. There we go. Now, now we're looking pretty good. All right. We have reinforcements coming on in. Much better than last time. Uh, we will fight this one. Cool. We'll fight in the dry. And the reason why we attack that is to draw this, uh, their troops out of the settlement. So we've only got two units of Hostati, which are kind of broken. So we're going to keep you guys back here. The, uh, let's actually reorganize them. We'll pop in right on the sides. Wow. We're going to group lock our Velites. Uh, well, not lock it, but just group one. There we go, like that. Draw you guys in, like so. And then... Two. Again, don't no need to lock it just because. Of, oh, we should probably include these guys as well. Just because uh, when you drag it, it doesn't really work out properly. There we go. So you guys are sort of going to be screening other units. So you can just chill out there. Cavalry. The general's got pretty decent influence ring. We're going to pop you here, and then we get our reinforcements from that side. So we're going to select everyone. Or we'll start moving towards. No need to run because we need to see where the other enemy army is going to come from. Probably from behind. But that doesn't seem like where they said he would be. So. Oh, this is ours. Alright, fine. Our reinforcements have arrived. Yes, but where are the enemy reinforcements? Uh, coming in from behind, actually. Alright, so. Turn. I'm just going to. Turn around, mate. <laughs> no need to run. Push you guys up, if anything. If that general's just going to sit there, that's fine. We'll go and assassinate him in a bit. We're going to bring everyone else this way. You can sort of face this way, just in case they come out towards us. And we want all of you good sirs to come on in this way. Alright, cool. Once everyone's in position, we'll take a look at our um, our units. Because, you know, it's a new mod, so new reskins, which is always exciting. I haven't really had a good look at them myself, but I will do once um, once we get this, this line sorted out. And we'll obviously just keep it on triple speed for now. And we'll keep an eye on the enemy movements. Sending one unit of uh, skirmishers out towards us. Interesting. Oh, yep. Enemy general is moving out. So, I think should be safe enough just to send our skirmish, uh, our cavalry, our general should be able to handle that. You guys can come up, please. Thank you. Swift riders at your command. Elites, move you up. General. Swift melee Well, they're really starting to uh, pepper us. All right, fine. We'll see them general. off. With our cavalry, we've got loads of different abilities here. We've got Inspire, we've got Legionary Loyalty, Raise the Banner, Draco, Cavalry Testudo. They're winded, at least. Our cavalry's fresh. We'll send a unit of um, Velites to go skirmish them, harass them. Nice, decent charge. Killed about 20, 25 on that first pass. Try and get the other cavalry involved as well. But we should be alright. I will just pop an Inspire. Just in case. General is under attack. See if that will spur on the enemy. But it doesn't look like it's going to. So we're going to have to meet them. So we will do. Move you guys up there. No need to run. Keep your strength. I would rather go in as a group, but if you're not going to do it, then you're not going to do it, so... 
Don't kill their general there. How's our general doing? Where is he? General! Our hidden units have been discovered! Haven't lost a single man just yet, and we're starting to break him now, which is good. The first looks of the uh, enemy is covered in mud, interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. There we go, extra cavalry reinforcements. The mercenary Equite is coming in for the win, just to save the general. Even though I think he did have this quite... Alright, he was handling that just fine. Okay. These guys are still fresh though, but and moving fast. Keep you on skirmish mode, please. These guys are still fighting. Their morale is so high. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the uh, the nuances of the battles, so you have to bear with me. Where's all our cavalry? That's um, let's group you guys up, bring you to the sides here. So once we get our troops close, they pull back with their archers. We can then flank on round. Let's pull back with our general just quickly. Oh, they're actually pushing forward. Might be a good idea to um, do a little charge here. Oh, wow. Very effective, though. Archers seem... Ooh. Yeah, that's, um... Let's fall back with like, the cavalry here. I don't like the position that I put you guys in. Oh, saying that, we do have these guys flying in now. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's not good. Peel back, peel back. Hopefully that, uh, oh, that pikeman. No, hoplites. All right, fine. Interesting. They're sort of um, very well forward now. We can hit them on the sides. We are pulling them forward. You've only got 15 men left? Jesus. Our hidden units have been discovered! That's not good. Where's our general, man? Alright, he's fine. He's chilling. Alright, we should be able to catch these guys at least. There you go. We're gonna slam them into one small unit and an actual unit of cavalry. So hopefully we can just stop them from firing and we just sort of run them down. Just as long as they don't fire, that they should go down. The men are wavering. Saying that they just made my other one waver. But they've only got 50 men left, so I don't exactly blame them. Uh, we need to get a unit of Hastati here quickly. Or even the mercenary Tully and Hastati. Yeah, get them in. Get them in. They are getting bogged down. We've got our own skirmishes coming on in. Let's peel off one unit just to help out. Whereas the rest of them can start peppering their units here. Italian cavalry. Can maybe use our general to help out. I love how this one cavalry unit's got bogged down four skirmishes. It's pretty impressive. How are you guys doing? Active. You're running. I just noticed that these guys got 220 per unit. Um, that's quite a lot of men. Um, I guess that's why my room is getting really, really hot right now. I had to put a fan on and open the door, so if it's a bit echoey more than usual, I do apologise, but I don't exactly want my PC to explode. So... Cool. Levies! Run, men! Put you on skirmish mode. Got extra cavalry just to help out here, along with infantry. Trying to get in there. 
Oh, run back. Run back. Oh, nearly caught us there. Don't know why you've lost 40 men already. But once we get involved here, yeah, at least we're peeling back only a few of their troops at a time. The generals come in for a... Um, Oh, didn't mean to speed up the time. Just get the bloody reinforcements back. A starty form up. There we go. So we should just butcher these guys. There we go. Oh, javelins do such a huge amount of damage. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Uh, keep going against the skirmishers, please. Uh, we've got this one flanked. Cool. Haven't lost any of the frontline troops. Just a little bit of the uh, Vlites. Cool, let's get these guys out now. Or are we fighting here now? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Rapid advance. Oh, as they run into the spear traps. Oops. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, as long as our general's out of the firing line, all good. That unit seems to have broken. Jupiter gives us strength. Double time. Astarte. At the double. Are you facing the wrong way? No. Just the flag seems to drop back though. There we go. Got all the infantry coming on in. Let's uh, close this gap here. Maybe send this. Sp Oh, Splinter Force. I would, I would send them, but they seem to be a bit uh, damaged. Um, it's, well, I guess their running isn't as good. Our hidden units have been discovered. If you guys can throw javelins, please do. Doesn't look like we're going to. Close the distance there. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Who the frick is running away? Counter charge. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Let's try and get some rear charges here if we can. This unit needs to peel off. What's going on there? All right, we try and close the distance here. Charge them quickly. Don't let them throw the javelins back. Um, and let's do some rear charges. We get all the skirmishes on that. Hopefully, the rear charges are still our saving grace here. Didn't seem to do much, not gonna lie. Send one unit of Hastati to break off just to go towards these guys. Um, bring out the cavalry. We'll let our cavalry mop up their skirmishers. Move the Hastati around. Oh, these guys are. See, they got these guys broke so quickly. I don't know if it's because I'm hitting them in the backs or just because the principes here seem to be um, a lot heavier. Let's go up against those skirmishers there. Our men flee the field of battle. High threats, yeah. Principes against the Hastati, man. That's just it's like no contest. Where's our general? He's doing spy here. Make him 
Maybe send another unit of Astarte to help break this up. Just counter charge at least. Where's our uh, cavalry? There we go. You're fine. We can break off one unit to help out and flank the spears. Yeah, Alright, we broke that at least. We are trying to bombard the hell out of these guys. Throw your javelins. I don't know if we're hitting more of our own men. Or not. Cool, these guys are broken. Uh, keep your frag well, please. Let's take a look at what's happening down here. Just sort of hitting them from afar. Which is good, obviously. What do we have here? Throw a javelin, medium. Oh, so it tells them where to throw it. Alright, cool. Yes, butcher them. They are in hoplite wall, but we have we have surrounded them though. Proud Romans all. They're still a high threat. The Hostati are, are not too good, I'm not gonna lie. Just trying to hit these bloody guys. Come on, break them. 63 men left on that. How are we doing up here? We basically won. Oh, a lie, we have not basically won. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, there we go, now they're starting to break. Let's just hit them from afar, try and pull our troops out. So it's just these guys. And if we can avoid the fight, I will do. Break them. Oh, so it's like the uh, end of 300. Nice, that should be game. Very good, end the turn there. Okay, there we go, and we're back. So... We only lost 1,233, the enemy lost 2,236, I mean they did have quite a larger force than I was expecting. We've lost one unit of mercenary Italian Hastati, that's fine because they cost uh, the most amount of money, so we all good with that. Oh, and then we've also lost the um, Hastati Italiasi. Again, butchering these pronunciations, but you know, that's uh, pretty normal for me. Um, so we're going to just release captives for the most amount of money. We have an increase in rank, which is fantastic. Um, let's do that first. Let's go for rentless attacker, and then a knight commander, and then that should help us here. Cool. And we will just auto-resolve this one. Thinking, boom, job done. We'll see if we can peace out with them at least. Can raise it. Ah, oh, interesting. That's not in Rome, is it? Just want to get my finger off the mouse button, <laughs> just so I don't click it. Um, occupy, I think, will be the uh, best one Ready for, for us. And we're going to go for you. We're going to go for skill tactician, relentless attacker. Uh, one turn on our technology for our manipulator. Um, cool. As for you guys, we're going to follow you back to Rome. Uh, why is your public order so bad? Uh, conquest only. All right. At least we've got the. Cool. We've got a full edict thingy here. Um, so party loyalty, cultural development, imperium research rate. That's pretty good, you know. But the Romanization, twenty-five recruitment costs for auxiliary movements, and plus ten conversion to Latin culture. Also very good. Naval security, sick. Commercial stimulus. Bread and games. I think for here we're gonna go bread and games. All right, now we can focus on building some stuff. So we got Neapolis here. We're gonna upgrade you. We're gonna get a villa, and then well, are you like a trade port. I think we should probably go for a harbor. Cool. In terms of temples, what do we want? Probably shrine of Neptune here. To help with the maritime stuff, but we don't. Mm, it gives us public order, food, and everything. Yeah, so we'll go for that. That's fine. All right. We've got some slums, which we will dismantle there. All right, fine. Don't want slums in our cities. Um, you. We're gonna go for a villa again because we want that food to go up, to keep like, the growth rates nice and high. Aluminium, salt. That's salt. I'm guessing that's salt. Um, we're gonna go for fishing port. 
Why region growth negative? Taxation, all right, not too bad. So let's go for fishing port. And we can upgrade it, get more salt. Growth rates, that goes up straight away. How much money are we making? Yeah, all right, fine. Let's upgrade the manipulator barracks as well. It's only 500 gold. All right, down here, we want to get another villa. And let's upgrade to the manipulator barracks. So it's 10% cheaper, or oh, a little bit cheaper. I think, uh, so let's take a look. So we've got farming settlement, growth rate plus two, uh, different population growths, public order, growth rate plus three. Civil settlement, I think, is the best one out of that. And we are out of money. Uh, we can actually upgrade this. Let's upgrade this so we get more olives. We are Latin, so we need our olives. All right, I think that will wrap things up for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and a comment down below and subscribe to see even more Total War content right here on the channel. And I'll check you guys out in the next video.